Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Folks, today, what I want to talk to you all about, you're going to love this. You're going to love this, okay? Here's what I'm going to talk to you all about. I'm going to talk to you about this thing called PeerTube. PeerTube, though it's not billing itself as an open source YouTube, definitely kind of feels like an open source YouTube, but it's not. It's decentralized for one thing, and additionally, it does use web torrents for passing around video traffic. It has some interesting features, supports captions, multiple channels, moderation, comments, and even supports the Fediverse. So folks, what exactly is the point of PeerTube if it's not going to replace YouTube? Well, it might not, but it could still be useful to you because there is creators, possibly me in the future as well, being on the Fediverse as PeerTube creators, releasing our programming that way as well as such things as YouTube. For me, I would always keep releasing on YouTube. It's just too big of a market not to. But never hurts to release somewhere else too if you have the option. And PeerTube, one of the advantages it has if somebody wants to run their own server, because anyone can, myself included, I've actually got a demo server here that I plan on showing you all in an upcoming YouTube video. I'll show you, I guess I, I guess I could show you a couple screenshots of it or something. But that server, I've been testing it out. It works pretty good. There's some things I don't like about it. Don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. But being open source, it's going to be improved, of course. That being said, it's pretty interesting. The system is developed by a nonprofit out of France, and they have actually developed a bunch of different things out there that is trying to make a more decentralized web, which I think is always a good idea. So the decentralized web, that's a cool thing, right? But what is it in it for you? Well, for one thing, PeerTube instances may or may not have ads depending on who is running it. Um, so, you know, that's something to consider. Might not have ads. Or it might. You never know. But it might. Anyway, folks, I don't know what to tell you except for two things. One, it's interesting to play with. I've definitely played with it. I've watched some videos on some PeerTube instances about Linux before. Um, Veronica Explained is one channel I've watched a couple videos via a PeerTube instance that she is on with her videos. And the video looks good, sounds good, and you know, it works. One of the gripes I have with PeerTube is the captions do not let us move them to the top and the bottom like we can on YouTube, like we can on my streaming service that I've been developing for my programming. And they're just using WebVTT as far as I can tell. So really, they should be able to do that. They're just, if I give them a WebVTT file with that stuff, it literally strips it. So all you guys need to do is just stop stripping the provisioning uh, the positioning information when you submit a video with subtitles, and you should be good to go. So folks, anyway, listen, I personally think it's interesting. You should check it out. Uh, if you want to install it, I have to say, that's probably one of my number one complaints about it. It is really a pain to install. I tried two times on two different servers to install it with different weird issues. But you can install it via a Docker container, which even though that's not their recommended way, from what I've heard from people that have done it, like uh, Lon Sivan, Lon.tv. I've watched some videos on his peer tumor instance as well. <laughs> it uh, seems like Docker is the better way to go. It seems less of a pain, even if it's not the officially supported way. In addition to that, the way I did it was with a open source cloud hosting tool that you can install on your own servers. And I'll be doing a video about that in the future. It starts for Y and says host. I can never pronounce it, but I'll put the text at the bottom here. But that piece of software is really cool because it lets you very easily provision things like PeerTube. And it, it works. <laughs> it works. And I really like provisioning things easily. Why make it harder than it has to be? Anyway, folks, I don't know what you think about PeerTube, but I think it could be very interesting for a future of decentralized web. Folks, thanks for watching Open Source tonight, and I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks for watching. And action.